Hey what's going on guys welcome to your 11th Django tutorial and in this video we'll take a look at model methods. Okay then so everything's looking pretty good so far we've got our article list right here and we're dynamically outputting those different articles in our database on this page which is really awesome but for each article so far we've only done a little bit of content so I want to go through an example where we've got a lot of content in the article and then creating a method within this model just to show a little snippet of that article because we don't always want to show the full article on an article listing page. So to do that, I'm going to head over to the admin section first of all, which is forward slash admin forward slash. And then in here, we're going to go through to articles and we're going to create another article. Um, and this can be called whatever you want. Let's just call it testaroo and the slug can be testaroo as well. All right, let's just copy and paste a load of junk in here. This is just lorem ipsum and I'm going to save that. So now if we go to forward slash articles again, we should see that on the front page as well. And we do. And like I said, we don't want to show all of this on the article listing page. We'd maybe just like to show 100 characters. And then when you click on the link, it shows you the full article. Then that's typically how a blog works, right? Or some blogs at least. So to do that, what we're going to have to do is create a model method. That is a method inside this model, which is going to cut down that content to some kind of snippet and return a snippet that we can show on the home page or rather the article page, right? So much like we made a function right here, we can make another function and I'm going to call this snippet. So I'll say def snippet. And what this is going to do is take self which is the instance of the article that's going to be using this snippet function okay and then we'll return self dot body which is this thing right here all right and remember we're showing the body on the article listing page this is what we're showing at the minute but what we want to do is cut this body down to size so that it's maybe 50 characters long okay so to do that we're going to use this which is saying okay well take the first 50 it's like saying from 0 to 50 but we don't need to put the 0 in because if we don't put it in it implies it's from the start of the whole string so we're going from the very start of the string up to the 50th character and we're getting those 50 characters and that's what we're returning so now if I save this and then head over to the actual template instead of outputting the article body what we can do is output the snippet of each article so when we're going through this for list right here, we're saying for article in articles and for each article, we're outputting the article title, article body and article date. Well, for each article, instead of outputting the body, we're going to say article dot snippet, right? And we don't need to call it as a function or anything like that. We just say article dot snippet. And what that's going to do is run this thing over here and return this to us. So it's grabbing the body, but just the first 50 characters. Make sense? So let's save this and a refresh over here and now we just get the first 50 characters of this um, body thing over here and that's more in line with what i want for this blog so that if we do have a shed load of content in one of the articles then it's only going to show a little snippet of it now i also maybe want to put a little dot 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 on the end there to say look this is continuing it's not the end of the article it's not only 50 characters long so let's do that let's go into this function again and we're just going to concatenate on using the plus sign a little string which is dot 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 okay so it's the first 50 characters plus dot 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 at the end so if we refresh now we can see that we get the first 50 characters plus dot 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 obviously in the first one there's no content so we're just getting dot 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 really exciting post all right so that my friends is how we can create a model method like this and then output the return value of that model method inside our template. Dead simple. 